life, man, that's lessons on lessons on lessons. I treat the beat like it's a reverend. I tell the truth like, Father, forgive me. These are all my confessions, man. This was a luck and was destined. I done lost homies who been with me since Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Who flip like a Fetty. And then when you back, they back to call you dog. That shit can get petty. Bitch, don't get no dab to me, nigga. Funny thing about talking behind my back is that it just keep coming back to me, nigga. Was off for a sec, now it's back to me, nigga. You mad at me. This ain't what I want, man. This what it had to be. This is that late night working after three, man. This is why my old girl was mad at me. This why I'm your majesty, man. The click is the tightest. The pussy the tightest. The drinks are the coldest. The future the brightest. The feet not divided. What is up A team? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you again with that top tier content. It's a vlog. As you guys would know from my last vlog, I am back in Cape Town, back in my apartment, back at uni, <laughs> wanna puke. But my aim for this vlog is a spend a day or two with me, spend a day in the life of a law student type of vibe because as you guys know, schooling, it's always coloring, but yet I always find a way to go out and live my best life. And honestly, I love that for myself because period, okay? So today my boyfriend and I are going out for a study date. We're gonna have some lunch first, chill, and then get our studying going. He's got things to do, I've got things to do. Life is a bit stressful at the moment, even though school just began. But let me tell you guys something. I think I finally cracked the code. I've been at uni for four years. This is my fifth year, almost done with the second degree chair. But I only cracked the code like a few days ago. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys. So I feel like people tend to relax the most during the semester when it's just began and they tend to work harder as time goes as the semester is about to end or exams about to start you get me but i just figured out that if you push the hardest i don't mean work super hard i mean if you push your absolute hardest at the beginning the end will be smooth sailing well i hope <laughs> i'll tell you guys how that goes but if you just work hard at the beginning as you'd work during the exam season or anything else Things will become gradually easier and that's what i'm trying to adopt this semester so instead of chilling while school's still kind of relaxed i'm gonna work really really hard try and get my ducks in a row so that by november time i'm not as stressed so i'll let you guys know how my theory works out but that's pretty much relevant to say because my boyfriend and i are definitely going out to eat but also study on a sunday and it's like on a sunday we should be at like a wine farm or something to be fair but we're deciding to take ourselves even more seriously this semester, which I love that for us. So that's pretty much the plan for today. Tomorrow I have tutorials and lectures and everything, but I'm still going to go to the beach with my friend. One thing about me, I'll go to Camps Bay, child. I'll go to Camps Bay and I'll go to Camps Bay. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. I woke up super early to install this wig, which will be out. The video will be out before this one, so please do check it out. My boyfriend did do the narration for this wig, and so yee because he does not know anything about anything about wigs. So I'm actually excited to see how the video will go. But yeah, I've been on my big girl shit for a while now. For like the past two weeks, I have been on my big girl shit. Got my license, child. Starting school super, super, super on a high note. Just getting my bag. I really feel like. I'm in my bad era, so I hope it lasts. So I've got my jacket on, laptop charged, vape charged, AirPods charged. I absolutely, for the life of me, cannot afford to forget my glasses. So I'm gonna pack my glasses, and I think after that, I'll actually be ready to go. So let me do that. <laughs>
according to the, this study session. Guys, did you hear that? Okay, so we're officially back in my apartment and not much work was done. I won't even cap to you guys. Well, this is a great time to try. Mind your own f***ing business. Not much work was done just because we actually underestimated how much noise would be there because of other people's conversations and whatnot. But it is about... Babe, what's the time? My watch stays being off. As usual. Quarter to four. So at about four o'clock, I'm gonna start working. So yeah, I will definitely catch you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. So yeah. Welcome to yet again another day of your girls vloggy vlog. So today is Monday, it is about half past 10 and I didn't go to school. <laughs> but as usual, I can explain. I just feel like it was more worthwhile for me to actually stay home and do much more things than sit in a three hour lecture that I probably won't be engaged in fully anyway, you get me? So what I'm going to do now is answer all my emails. I usually do that at the beginning of the day. I did wake up at 7 as per usual, but I just spent most of this morning watching Love Island and on Reddit. So, self-care. But I'm going to do today's lectures that I missed in person. I'm going to start the lectures for tomorrow, so I'm ahead. And I'm going to edit the wig install video for you guys today. And then later on, my friend and I are heading to the beach, so I hope the weather doesn't switch up. But yeah, I'm feeling really productive this morning. I did not have a coffee because my stomach is... Iwishi, iwishi. It's, it's getting weird. It's getting weird. My stomach is behaving very strangely today, so I've opted to stay away from coffee this morning and instead have a Red Bull. I know that's really counterintuitive because it's like, why would you avoid the caffeine and coffee? But you're going to have the caffeine and the Red Bull. But I don't know, don't ask me. Yes. Don't ask me. Anyway, so I'm gonna grab my Red Bull, grab my laptop, my vape, AirPods, and go ahead to the, uh, <laughs> what did I forget? And go ahead to the garden in my apartment. Why can't I speak? And start grinding away at the garden in my apartment complex. It's really cute, really serene, really quiet. I love working there. So let's go and let's grind, child. What I really wanted to show you is the fact that I had to reschedule my take a lot order because tomorrow is super busy for me, like it was just not gonna work. So I made it um, for Wednesday, but I'm so excited for you guys to see what's on my take a lot card because, yeah, I just need you guys to see because, geez, um, oh my word, like I bought so much random stuff that I'm excited for and I need you guys to see it. I can't wait for the electric blanket child. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't. I just can't wait. I especially cannot wait for the plants. <laughs> I can't wait for my adapter 
um, so I can actually edit properly now. I can't wait for my waffle maker. I bought a new comforter set so that my apartment can be, you know, on theme, which is black. So yeah, I think it's never excited. You know it, child. One day we need to run a thorough experiment on why my apartment is so cold. It is literally an ice box in here because I am on my second shower of the day and it's barely even 3pm. Child, I should tell you enough about how cold it is in here. An electric blanket is not enough. I need one of those heaters that are so big it looks like if it malfunctions the house is gonna blow up. Like those are the type of heaters I need in here because this is not cute. But anyways guys, it is about 3pm right now, or just before 3pm, and I just got ready to go to the beach with my friend. Um, I'm wearing a bikini top right now, period poo, period, period, period. And yeah, I'm ready to go. I feel like I was really productive today, which is why I feel deserving of going out right now. I'm also really excited for tonight. If you watch Love Island, tonight is the final, so I better be back by like 8ish, so I can get some work done and then watch the final at 10 p.m live baby okay so as you guys saw went down to the garden today i ate um eggs and pork bangers for lunch it's kind of like a breakfast meal but i ate it for lunch because that just is what it is i was editing i i did a lot i did my schoolwork i started the lectures for tomorrow and yeah, it's been a good day for the girl okay it's been a really good day for the girl so I'm gonna get going now. I'm gonna wear the same jacket that I wore um, yesterday with my boyfriend because the one I wanted to wear is actually dirty on the sleeves because my boyfriend and I went on a date last week Friday, didn't vlog it, but we went on a date and I was eating tacos and I didn't realize that it was actually getting dirty. So now I'm really sad because that jacket needs to be hand washed and <laughs> I'm so sorry about it, but I'm not gonna hand wash it. So I always beg my helper, love of my life, to wash it for me. So the next time that jacket is gonna be washed is in like, I don't know, Few weeks when I go back to Durban which is like so uncute so I'm not gonna wear a dirty jacket like I'm just not gonna do that no nope. also I feel like it would be really cute to mention that I got this wig a couple of years ago actually I think my mom had bought it for me in grade 11 and for me grade 11 was 2016 so that was like four five young <laughs> dad that was a while ago because I'm 22 now and I just feel like it's still in such good condition. I found it a few days ago in Durban and I'm like, oh, this wig is actually still really cute, revivable, like it's adorable. And I love it because it's a closure wig, so I didn't have to do that much installation work. I just love to see it, okay? I just wanted to tell you guys that because like that's a super, super cute fact. But anyways, yeah, let's actually go and put some perfume on, pack a bag. Still debating whether to bring the camera or not because one thing about me, but it's a giving, I'm afraid of being mugged like <laughs> it's never happened to me but the day it does god forbid i think i'll actually like oleg so i get very wary about carrying like my expensive gadgets with me just everywhere so i'll think about carrying the camera but yeah <laughs> yeah let's go What, two margaritas? 
two margaritas, three shots, three shots. Okay, those two Jaeger bombs, and then a shot. We have school tomorrow. I have a class tomorrow, and like I'm too sure I'm joking. Yeah, that. <laughs> Not a law from watching this, like, bits. <laughs> Guys, we've been friends since the first day of first year. Literally the first day, as like the first day of orientation. She walked up to me, and then it was over. I know. Then. Like, it was And I remember over. thinking she was the weirdest bitch ever, and then we spoke for like 30 minutes, and I'm like, yeah, this is my bitch. This my bitch. I'm yeah. weird. She's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> if it isn't the consequences of my actions <laughs> so guys i just came back from school it's been a long day it's quite literally 14 48 and i had lectures today i had a tutorial today i'll tell you guys why i started this by saying this is the consequence of my actions okay so yesterday i went to the beach with my friend it was an amazing time watch the sunset having margaritas it was such a cute time that wasn't where the danger was the danger was within the fact that I wanted to watch the Love Island finale last night and obviously it aired at 10pm. Just for context you guys, I'm usually asleep or almost asleep by 10pm. By half past 10 I'm usually like out ready to be up at 10 the next day. But yesterday I decided no let me watch this final and the final ended at like something past 11. I woke up feeling like a train was ran on me. Not that kind of train, like an actual train okay i felt like a huge vehicle ran itself over me i didn't have the best day in terms of my energy levels but i did have baraka which helped a bit i wanted to stay away from red bull and coffee because those things make you feel good in the moment but then the crash is not cute okay but yeah i think this vlog was the best version i could make of the life of a law student at least my life because i give myself time to have fun but i also work really hard Speaking of, I need to finish the wig install video right now, so I'm about to chill a bit and then edit and then do more schoolwork. So that's the vibe. The next time I catch in with you guys will be when I get my take a lot delivery because I do want to show you guys some of the things that I actually got. I obviously show you what am I saying? I obviously showed you on my phone, but I actually want you guys to see it. And that delivery is coming in two days. So I will continue this vlog in two days, but for you guys it's gonna continue in the next like two seconds because editing. Swam now with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over taste, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. It's our birth, it's our day. Most of the things I don't wanna say. I won't be around while you chase. Um, I got blue 
for my lashes even though i hardly put on lashes because i feel like my real lashes are actually quite long and also i just don't know how to put on lashes that well so <laughs> i try to avoid it i got a new cover for my phone i'm excited to put it on i also got a cover for my boyfriend's phone because it's what he deserves i've got a whisk to make my waffles chow period um what is this oh this is the waffle maker i finally got the waffle maker i got syrup for my oh it's not focusing there we go i got syrup for my coffee so that's nice i'm trying to emulate starbucks coffee but i feel like it'll take a few tries before i can do that and then i got got to be glue let me open the next box because there's about two more got an electric blanket about to put it on my bed right now i'm just hiding my address here but yeah finally have an electric blanket i have one but it's for a single bed so i haven't used it so this one <laughs> we on site we on site i don't know about campus i don't know how often i'll be going because my bed is gonna be warm now period <laughs> Okay, so in this box, I have my Type-C adapter for my new MacBook. Excited because I can finally connect my hard drive, which means I can bring you guys quality content, period. Um, I've got my baking measuring set. Super cute, guys. I am enjoying this chapter of my life. It's just looking really cute and really wholesome, and I love it. Let me show you guys properly. There we go. Okay, that's all that's in here. I also got a brand new duvet. It's reversible, so the one side is black and the other side is grey. And I'll put this in the laundry before I put it on my bed. But I also got a plant, which actually looks smaller than what the photo looked like on the app. But it's okay, I'll show you guys once I've actually taken it out of the box. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. I am 100% without a doubt returning this plant because what is this, honey? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. What was the reason? In the last box is my Ariana Grande fragrance. I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan. If you know me, you guys know that I am a major fan. I really, really, really love the packaging. Oh my word, I cannot wait to actually smell it. Ooh, how cute is this, guys? How cute really sweet really like it my main prerogative right now is to just increase my uh, fragrance collection so that's going well